the flat racing guru we're going to look at santa anita tonight which starts at 8 30 no 8 sorry 8 p.m tonight sorry it's an hour earlier so that's um what time is it it's 5 31 so that's one two gives us two and a half hours so by the time i finish this it'll give you two hours clean they also tonight there is a um um, what is it now? Hmm. I forgot what it was. Um, something. Um, I totally forgot. Um, the rain, it's Rainbow Six. <coughs> Sorry, it's the Rainbow Six at Gulfstream. Um. Um, I'm not. I'm, I haven't got time, but I was going to try and do it. The Rainbow Six doesn't start at race six, and it's probably we would have enough time if I get through this. Um, we'll see. Right, we'll go through these races. Um, <clears throat> right, the best rated. So I've got this DRF. If you pay for the single cards for the form guides, um, sometimes I just pay for the single card of the buyers and the speed figures. Um, because if you you can go to the uh, it cost you like four and a half dollars for for a single card but you can get their tips as well and um, obviously the buyers in the the drf gives you the the you know their tips and the buyer edge but really i don't really look at that uh, i you know when you first start doing us racing you, you you're guided by uh you know the drf and all that but you end up realizing that you can probably pick better horses just by looking at the clean form but if you're a starter there are a lot of good tips as a drf and a lot of good handicappers but i think i you know i'm better so there we have it but i do like to look at the buyer figures um the, right right the one horse i do think could come in we look at race one you can see the bat, top buyer is number five so we put five down and then we go one seven and three now i looked at the works and they do have the best works so i'm a, i'm going with the buyers here five one seven and three so write down five one seven and three for race one i do however think this number eight it's 18 to one this liberal uh, flavian pratt now it can't win on its works i've looked at its works it works it's like 51 seconds 51 and a half seconds for four furlongs i mean that's not good enough but this is a if it was at um del mar i would be more confident but santa is more of a front runner's track you know but it can turn into a sort of a an, uh, a flavian pratt type of uh, race where he likes to start and come from behind because this horse is um a finisher i mean it's not a stalk it's not a front runner it's a finisher liberal now if they go a crazy pace in this race and I, I can't see it happening myself but if they do i would include this i would just have a single bet not don't include it in the same bet as while i'm coming but have a single bet on liberal each way or when the more markets open you can go without the favorite and the favorite will be number five uh lane way and i think number five will win this race lane way right we'll go move on to race two and write down make, make sure you write down these because i'm not writing them down tonight you've got to listen i'm going for number one number six and i think one and six will be close between those two tonight uh, Umberto Rispoli. I think Umberto's in a, uh, in the best box seat for this race. Um, on number six, Anna, fantastic. And I do like the name. You know, a lot of these women's names wins, but they women just pick them because of their names. But actually, they have got the form to back it up. So I wouldn't be picking it just because of a name. I actually looked at the form first. So I think it is a match between one and six race two. So put one six six one, and then put two for the trifecta. So that's one six six one, and then two for the trifecta. Race three. 
we go seven to win. That's Rose Crystal. We go nine to come second. That's Phoenix Tears. And then we go three six. So that's seven, nine, three, six. Now race four. We go seven again. Twelve to come second. Three to come third. And two to come fourth. That's for the super factor. Race five. We go four to win. One to come second, six to come third, and two to come fourth for the super factor. Now we go to race six. Seven. That Thelultz in mine, or whatever its name, Flavian Pratt, to beat eight. Six to come third. And two to come fourth. So that's race six. Seven to win. And that's a single. All my all my first choice bets are singles. So if you take all my singles and put them in um, your Yankees and Canadians and Super Yankees and whatever. All my first name horses are my singles. And the rest of the exotics and the pick threes, pick fours, pick sixes. So that's race six. The winner I'm predicting is number seven to beat number eight. Then six and two for third and fourth. Now race seven. I'm going with number six. Umberto Rispoli. And then I'm going for one for second position. Then I'm going for seven. And then I'm going for ten. That's race really seven six one seven ten. That's six one seven ten in race seven. Race eight. Number three to win. That's fighting Madden. That is this first stakes race tonight. Uh, two hundred grand. That's group three. <coughs> La La Cast La Canada group three stakes. Uh, and I'm going for three fighting mad now. I did think Proud Emma ran a great race last time, and Hernandez, my one of my favourite jocks, will along with Fabian. I think, even though it needs to find some form, look on the on the 86 last time out, and that is not bad. But you can see fighting man is way in front of 95, and fighting mad's works have been brilliant as well lately. Um, let me get the. I'll just pull up the works here um, on Fighting Mad and I'll give you the last work it's done. Uh, that's Abdel Sidello, that's Bob Buffett, obviously. Uh, and the last work was over six furlongs. Listen to this, folks. It's six furlongs, right? At Santa Anita on the 4th of January. Did one minute eleven seconds and point four zero right, and that was a work on its own. Um, <clears throat> normally, this wouldn't have been recorded, but somehow they've recorded it because it trained on its own, away from all the rest, and it worked at one minute eleven forty for six furlongs. I hope they couldn't even win a race in that time. Never mind, just that was just a work and. Looking at the, the, the work, it look, was a breeze. Uh, that is absolute. This horse has got to be a three point win for Fighting Mad. But as I say, um, this. Um, I had originally wrote down three to be two, uh, and then to beat one. But I think three, one, and two change it to three one and two i do think this proud emma can improve um and I, I wouldn't be surprised if this proud emma because i think this proud emma is improved now looking at its last race 
it ran really well and it looked like an improver it won it so easy um it was gearing down past the line and obviously who's trained it our favorite trainer all the last four, four or five years in the u.s yes you have you've got it you've guessed it and 50 to 1 winner in maydan a couple of years ago for us it's mr miller our favorite trainer and we you know he gave us bits of info last year <clears throat> even for Oaklawn um, and Oaklawn will be starting soon we got the derby and everything coming up and then next week we've got the Pegasus World Cup absolutely fantastic things to look forward to now I've got my mojo back we can get into it and get some winners right so fighting mad is a three point win it won't be much of a price but I don't think nothing will beat it unless you know Unless there's some, some you know, smug duggery or shin, shin, shin duggery or whatever. Fighting man cannot, you know, it cannot get beat on this form. Um, but I do think Proud Emma's got a chance. Now you would think Hard Not to Love doing a 96 buyer last time would be um, hard, you know, a really hard, um, good chance there. Um... For John Sheriffs, uh, and actually it's got a point better in the buyer than fighting mad, but I'm just gonna, I'll have a look at this, this air work out for this horse, hard not to love. We'll give a look at its last work at Santa Anita. Now the last time it was in the States was one mile and one sixteenth. It finished second, four wide, three wide late, and then it rallied in the Santa Anita Stakes. Uh, five furlongs, 101, 102. It's working average. Hard not to lose working lad. I think that was its best race last time out. So that's what makes me think this proud Emma, Emma can improve to get second spot ahead of fight, uh, ahead of Hard Not to Love. So we'll change it to 312 uh, for the trifecta and three we've got three points win on fighting mad and then even you could put without betting without the favorite proud emma but do the exacta three one in in this race nine race eight sorry and then we've got another stakes race in race uh, nine which is um this is the last ls kringa um, I'm sure th that fast horse was running in this. Jolly Olympa, yeah. Jolly Olympa. Race 9. He's a freely fast horse, this uh, Jolly Olympa. Um, in race 9. And that's the one we're going to win. Now, Some there is a lot of people opposing this. He's got his work cut out, a lot of people are saying. But look, he's got a 102 buyer. I don't think he can get beat. None of them would beat the catch if he goes from the front. And this is the track. This is the track for Jolly Olympia. So anyone who's opposing him, I think, is a bit silly. Um, we could even have a three-point win on Hard Not to Love, Fighting Mad. Sorry, sorry, Fighting Mad number three in the race eight, and then we'll double up with Jolly Olympia number seven. But anyway, we'll give you the um, seven six four. And if you want to do the super factor in race nine, seven six four one. If you want to do the super factor, which is cost you two dollars. Now race ten, we do number four. That's great power. Hernandez, my favorite, one of my favorites, with along with Flavian. Uh, he's the ultimate stalker, absolute brilliant at stalking race. This is not his track. He's more, of, you know, this is not uh, his style, but he does tend to follow Flavian everywhere but Flavian hasn't been getting the rides this, this meet so you know he's still been winning John Hernandez Joan Hernandez so we go 4-1-5-9 right uh, I've sort of messed this uh, podcast up a bit so uh, I'm flipping from here and there I'm not really with it tonight I'm, because I've been concentrating that hard on trying to get these horses out Um. <clears throat> and looking at the buyers, it's took me a bit of a while. Uh, so, race 10, we've got four, 
159. So we'll recap again. The best two bets I think today are race eight, fighting mad, and obviously proud Emma and the X actor. In race nine, Jolly Olympica. He could have a three point win fighting mad, and he could have a one point double Jolly Olympica. And he could have a little save with a, a perm on Proud Emma and fighting mad with Jolly Olympica. And uh, number six, Olic Sandra, the Australian bred, written by Joel Rosalio and written by Neil Drysdale. Um, and also, have a look out for uh, Saddler's Horses tonight. I might have included some, but I just look at him for singles. If I'm going to have a bet, I'll just have a single on any, you know, any Saddler's Horse. Because his horses are in form. So I hope you got that straight. And um, I should have written it all down. I'll tell you what, I could have wrote it all down. I'll come back and write it all down in the next podcast in five minutes, right? I'll do a podcast in about five minutes and write it all down. And write everything down. Okay, so look at for the next podcast in five minutes. Right, as far as... I can't get my bloody computer. I, I've got... My, my kid's using the computer. I've got Xbox. He's not using it in the bedroom. He's using my other computer to play Minecraft. So in this computer I've got here in my little studio keeps bloody sticking. I was right. I'll do, come back and I'll try and do the um. I'll do the. I'll print out my tips for um, Santa Anita. We've got two hours to go. And then I'll try and get the race 6 to 11 in for the Rainbow Six. But I'm not promising. 